Hi there, Hogan. It's good to talk to you guys. I wanted to let you know that I miss you a lot and I hope you're doing okay during these weird, crazy times. It's hard that we can't get to go to school every day, but I hope that you guys are doing okay at home and I want you guys to know that I love you and I miss you. So today, since we're kind of talking about how it might be hard to not go to school every day or it might be kind of a weird time for everybody, we're gonna read the feelings book. And this is one of my favorite books because it kind of talks about all the feelings you might have. Are you feeling happy or sad or scared or excited? Whatever you might be feeling, it's okay. And we're gonna talk about it in this book, okay? All right, The Feelings Book by Todd Parr. So remember, The Feelings Book is the title or the name of the book and Todd Parr is the author and the author is a person who writes the words in the book. Sometimes I feel silly. Have you guys ever felt silly before? Can you make a silly face? Sometimes everybody feels silly. Sometimes I feel cranky. Can you guys, how do you think she feels? She's pouting and her eyebrows are all squished together. Sometimes if you feel cranky, you might look like that. Can you make a cranky face? Sometimes I feel scared. So who do you think is scared, the cat or the mouse? I think that the mouse might be scared of the cat because cats like to eat mice. Can you show me a scared face? <gasps> The mouse says, eek. Sometimes I feel like standing on my head. He might be feeling a little bit silly if he wants to stand on his head because that's a little crazy. Sometimes I feel like reading a book under the covers. Have you guys ever felt like that when you don't really feel like talking? You just kind of want to play a game or read a book? Sometimes I feel like celebrating my birthday even though it's not today. That's pretty silly, but sometimes you just want to celebrate and that's okay to feel that way. Sometimes I feel brave. What do you guys think that brave means? It looks like he's wearing a cape and has a mask like a superhero. Superheroes are usually brave. So brave means that even when you're scared, you still do something to maybe help people or help yourself even if you're scared you do it anyways that's what it means to feel brave sometimes i feel like looking out the window all day and what kind of animal is looking out this window looks like a cat to me sometimes i feel like what are they doing dancing i think a lot of my hogan friends feel like dancing a lot of the time because you guys bring some good dance moves to school. Sometimes I feel like making mud pies. Ooh, it looks like he's getting messy and dirty and mud. Sometimes I feel like I might have a tummy ache. So this says catnip and he's frowning. If you have a tummy ache, you might feel what? Sick. So maybe he ate too much catnip. Sometimes I feel like holding hands with a friend. And sometimes I feel lonely. So remember, lonely, this word right here, lonely, do you think that means that the fish feels like he has people around or he feels all alone? I only see one fish, so I think lonely might mean that he feels like he's all alone. No one is around him. It looks like that's making him sad too. But sometimes I feel like yelling really loud. <gasps> His mouth is open really wide, so it looks like he's yelling like this, ah, really loud. Sometimes I feel like staying in the bathtub all day. Man, if you stayed in the bathtub all day, your skin might get all wrinkly. And she has a rubber duck and bubbles. Sometimes I feel like trying something new. It's great to try something new, maybe like skateboarding or going for walks or dancing. Sometimes I feel like dressing up. Look at that funny outfit she's got on there. 
Looks like her dog has sunglasses too. Sometimes I feel like doing nothing. And that's okay too. All of these feelings, whether they're good or bad, it's okay to feel them. Sometimes I feel like camping with my dog. So it looks like someone's in the dog house with his dog. Sometimes I feel like crying. Why do you think that this character might be crying in the book? What does it look like he dropped? Here's an ice cream cone. What's that on the ground? <gasps> I think he dropped his ice cream. So if he's crying, he might feel sad. I would feel sad if I dropped my ice cream. That is for sure. Sometimes I feel like eating pizza for breakfast. Have you ever eaten pizza for breakfast? I know I have. I love eating pizza for breakfast. <clears throat> but it's not very healthy. Sometimes I feel like kissing a sea lion. What? That is so silly. And sometimes I feel like a king. Do you guys see his crown on top of his head? He feels like a king. No matter how you feel, don't keep your feelings to yourself. That means share them with someone you love. So if you're ever feeling happy or sad or excited or scared or mad, just make sure to tell your family or your friends how you're feeling and then they can help you feel better. So if you're sad, you could go up to mom or dad or grandma or grandpa and say, I feel sad. And then they're going to help you feel better. And that, that's how you can work through your feelings. And it is okay to feel those feelings. So however you're feeling, Hogan friends, I love you very much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.